It was a very important game indeed. The dust has settled here inside of Golden One Center. As a matter of fact, you can see the Kings utility crew behind me breaking down the court. Of course, the regular season finale taking place in here just a few hours ago. Now coming into today's game, best believe the Sacramento Kings knew what the stakes were and they came in here today and not only defeated the Portland Trail Blazers, they straight up served the Blazers a beat down. Now let's take a look to see how it all went down. Now just because it was an early start for this game, don't think for one second these fans did not show up and show out for the Sunday afternoon game. The Kings facing the shorthanded Portland Trail Blazers, and when I say shorthanded, my goodness, they were playing with G-leaguers and people that looked like they just picked up at the YMCA. With that being said, the Kings came out and set the tone early on. They started the game on a 30-18 to 18 lead upon on the, the conclusion of the first quarter. As a matter of fact, the Blazers were so bad in the first quarter, they shot one from 19 from three-point territory. My grandmother would probably have a better shooting percentage than that. By the time halftime came around, the Kings were up by nearly 30 points, and the fans can sense, okay, this game's over. So what were the fans doing? They were paying attention to the Lakers versus Pelicans game. Obviously, if the Pelicans were able to pull off the victory, with the Kings winning today, they would have been able to slide into that eighth seed. Well, unfortunately for the Kings, that did not happen as the Lakers beat the Pelicans. But anyway, back at the Kings game, by the time the fourth quarter came around, this game was over. Mike Brown pretty much emptied his bench. De'Aaron Fox had a game high 20 points. Damana Sabonis notched his 77th double-double, which actually ties the single season record since the ABA and NBA merger. Kings go on to absolutely mollywop the Trailblazers, 121 to 82, the final. After the game, the, uh, Davion Mitchell and Keegan Murray talked about facing the Golden State Warriors in the play-in tournament. Take a listen. I mean, it's exciting. Uh, we get to get a little payback um, from last year. Um, we know they're going to come here with energy because uh, we play at a home game. It's going to be loud. Uh, it's going to be physical. But I think we're ready for it. I mean, the whole year I think we prepared ourselves for it, um, playing physical on both ends of the floor, and I think we'll be ready. Yeah, I mean, it's close to the same team we played last year. Uh, I think we split the series with them this year, but uh, it's going to be really competitive like it always is, a uh, really fun matchup. Um, so we're, we're all excited. I'm sure they're excited too. Back out here at Golden One Center. So, of course, as fate would have it, the Kings will host the Golden State Warriors Tuesday night in the play-in tournament. Of course, this is a rematch from their playoff series last year, and Kings fans all know how that one ended. So, of course, the Kings will be looking for some redemption against the Warriors on Tuesday night. Keep in mind, this is single game elimination, so the Kings best to bring their A game. Of course, myself and Matt George will have so much more from this game coming up at 11.30 tonight in Toyota Sports Extra.